What the, what the fuck do you want? Hello and welcome to another episode of What the Fuck Do You Want? I'm happy to report we've got the other half from the 100 Things We Learned From Film podcast, John Watson. Alright, what's happening? Fuck that's uncanny. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've done no fucking research. Uh, I'm just going to turn up and do some fucking dad jokes. <laughs> Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you for bringing prestige to this show. <laughs> That's a bit harsh. <laughs> Long time no chat, Mark. Yeah, How are absolutely. We? I'm very well. Are you? I'm brilliant. Grand. I'm about half as well as you look. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel half as well as that, that's for sure. Oh dear. Now now we're down into some sort of fractions that I can't even comprehend. <laughs> quarters? What are these quarters of which you speak in? I'm not getting into mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> no, me either. Jesus. <laughs> Definitely not what the fuck I want. <laughs> what the fuck do you want? For numbers to be obliterated <laughs> from the earth. Go back to Roman numerals. They were Abs- class. Abs- oh, yeah, they're fucking brilliant. Yeah, Rock- Rocky VII. I'm all about that. <laughs> I love Rocky V. Yeah, I'm also a big fan of Rocky. I- Tommy I- I- Gunn. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, look, I, I I revisited that a couple of years ago. Yeah. It's not that bad. I think it's it was great. just with the build up of Rocky, Sunshine, you get boxed in the head one more time, you're fucking brown bread, you're shite. I say, all right. No more punches to the head. Fair enough. I don't know if you can recall the fight scene Rocky has towards the end of that movie. Is that is that in the the, the alleyway? The alleyway? Yeah, yeah. He gets hit in the head. Oh, a he fucking does. Lot. Yeah, absolutely, he does. It would explain why he talks the way he does in the first movie, if <laughs> things were reversed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's 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 gone back in time to win the <laughs> to win the fight. That's how hard Tommy Gunn punches the true hero of Rocky. <laughs> Punches him back into the 70s to win an Oscar. <laughs> yeah, Feels like uh, we've gone off base already. Poss- possibly, but it was always going to happen, wasn't it? Definitely. Sadly. Well, I'll ask, what the fuck do you want? I want to be fucking scared by films again. Why, that sounds horrible. Well, you, you, you would think so, but I mean... Yes, just... I also like to cuddle up after being scared. It's okay. We're in a safe <laughs> space. Yeah, I just yeah, I just want to be held. <laughs> it's a, that's the wrong podcast, isn't it? This is a, this is this is a different this is a different podcast. I'm... You've no idea what I'll do to that with everything. <laughs> uh, what the fuck do I want, indeed? <laughs> <laughs> to go to prison, to be held. <laughs> yeah, but I do. I, I'm not afraid of watching a film anymore. I'm not afraid of 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 going to bed after watching a film and closing my eyes and thinking. That thing in that film could happen to me, or that thing in that film has Have I affected. definitely locked all the doors and windows? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I'm not saying that just because I'm in my 40s now, the only thing that scares me is a huge tax bill, or, <laughs> you know, having... Change. The car broken into, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Or being being told I've got to, I've got to run five miles, you know. <laughs> no, not at all. But I... I I used to watch movies and I used to think that is just, that is chilling or that yeah. is something instead of that is creeping around a little quiet basement until you turn the camera around and there's a face. Ooh. Okay. All right. It's a face. Fucking hell. Oh, the torch <laughs> has gone out. The lights have gone out. The tour, the batteries have run out. Oh, no matter how much I shake the battery, it's done. And then the torch comes back on and a face. We've and all we seen drop faces. Our, uh, Sony handy cam. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. I like that angle. Yeah, why is everything filmed handheld now? That, that said, that that first that, those wreck movies. How long are good. ago was Blair Witch? Yeah, Blair Witch was Blair Witch was great, and that was what twenty two years ago. Yeah, we and haven't we really nothing, evolved that far. But that since I don't know if you've seen the wreck movies. I assume you have the mm-hmm. uh, Spanish horror film. Um, that was probably the last time I went to the cinema with somebody and they were extremely scared. My flatmate at the time uh, was, <laughs> was French and spoke Spanish. So he said he wanted to go and see this Spanish film that was on. It was a horror film. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I'll go with you. We went to the, uh, went to the cinema and he, this grown man of 21 screamed, just screamed <laughs> all the way through. It was hilarious and embarrassing in equal measure. Oh, so I take it it didn't have the effect of you where you had empathy and you also got a little bit scared. 
No, no, absolutely <laughs> not. No, it, it was, it was, it was great. It was a great, you know, well-made, cheap, cheap, cheap movie mm -hmm. that, that's had deserved sequels. But no, it was, it was, it was great just to, to you know, uh, uh, Christ, this is going to make me sound a bit Brexy. Get one up, old Johnny Foreigner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that word just kills everything. <laughs> doesn't it just Jesus yeah doesn't it do you just. want to follow that up with a fucking coronavirus movie <laughs> hang on we've got plenty of those right we do actually yeah we've, we've well, got a heck me, of a lot of those I don't know what you like to do of a New Year's party but recently I have taken to reading aloud the Pornhub rankings of the year <laughs> it is a fantastic look at the psyche of the sexuality of the entire globe okay Last year, um, pandemic porn is a thing. Yeah, I haven't looked it up yet for research. I am severely fucking tempted to. Yeah, me too. I don't I know mean, if it's just like hazmat suits with holes cut out, which makes them redundant. <laughs> or maybe putting the holes at the wrong places. I don't know. There's a lot you could work with. H has not suits. <laughs> there, there would then be. But... Yeah, I mean, that is, yeah, it, that's now making me think of that scene from uh, Lethal Weapon, uh, Lethal, not Lethal Weapon, that film, for, that, that scene from the uh, Police Files movie, the Naked Gun movie, where they have <laughs> safe sex and they're in giant condoms. That's where my mind went, yeah. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that, that's how odd my mind is. But What could it be? Is it just sex while wearing masks? Because, you know, that's, that's a crime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's. Yeah, she didn't know what I looked like. Yeah, <laughs> it's the only not, reason I get any. <laughs> Horror films don't just don't do it for me anymore, and they're, they're all are they all, are they all the same director or are they all the same production? company Bl blumhouse i'm specifically looking at you right yeah, now. yeah it definitely feels like it is the old hollywood cookie cutter yeah. formula yeah those guys just throw any old shit at a wall and if it sticks and if it makes money it gets a, a another movie you know mm -hmm. it gets a, it gets a sinister two it gets a ouija two and i'm not talking about glaswegians it gets <laughs> you know it gets it, it becomes part of the conjuring universe i have yeah. seen one of those conjuring movies <laughs> and that is when i decided i did not need to see whatever else was happening in the conjuring universe because i wouldn't like to cut you off while you're talking about that i have a bit of feedback because we're cheating this episode a uh, good friend of the show professor k has basically written a script for me he's a lovely gentleman he's not from northern ireland but i am going to read out his feedback in the usual accent <laughs> we grew up in a time where horror wasn't readily available and if you could score a bootleg copy of a movie banned in the uk from your weirdo mate it felt genuinely exciting now mainstream r-rated action and horror movies are so full of extreme violence and gore that nothing is really that shocking anymore when it comes to visual effects i think that has led to a feeling of being jaded along with being bombarded with absolute shite like The Nun and Conjuring <laughs> fucking 3. So thanks for the feedback, Professor K. It really saved me making notes. So I just wanted to tie that in when The Conjuring came up. I, I'm, I'm glad, you, I'm absolutely glad you did, yeah. <laughs> Before we move on on it, he wanted to know how people in Ulster say Conjuring. <laughs> so when I'm not trying to do my whole Terry Wogan thing, it's The Conjuring. <laughs> how do people say it in your neck of the woods? Uh, well, I'm I'm from I'm from the Midlands. I'm from Nottingham, so I don't really talk like anybody. I don't have I'm an from. accent at all. Yeah, well, no, no, I do. I I, I basically call everybody Miduk uh, and, <laughs> and sound sound like I'm out of a Shane Meadows film. <laughs> so we we would say we would say conjuring. It's like three words conjuring. <laughs> Whereas we try to shorten it down to one if we can. As yeah, <laughs> sharp. Sharp and angry, <laughs> yeah. Could could you ring? <laughs> yeah. So for for me, it, it's I I don't I, I don't get it. And and mm -hmm. and stop putting all the same people in all of your films as well. The 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 guy that's out of the conjuring, I cannot see past because I saw him in that hard candy movie. Mm -hmm. In fact, that's probably the last movie that scared me. God, yeah. When he was uh, when when he was the paedophile in that Elliot Page movie. That was a date night movie a few moons ago. <laughs> wow. 
that's pretty good. I went on a date to see teeth. I also uh, made the mistake of showing <laughs> my current partner teeth. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, she laughed all the way through, of course. Oh. Well, you went, uh, you went a funny colour. Lady Punk did not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I can't see past him because he's just that pedo in that. Um, I was going to say the same thing. I don't know her name, but if you flick through Netflix or Amazon Prime, there is a certain fair-skinned blonde lady with massive eyes, and she seems to be on the front of all the covers making the same face. I don't know if they're casting a type or if it is genuinely the same person. It, I think it's the same person. I think it's it's Vera Farmiga. I, I think it's the same. It's the same person. Must look that up. If it if it is who if it is who I think it is, I'm assuming it's her. I think she's in that first one. Your listeners are going to go. No, it's not. It's oh, who the fuck cares about them? Yeah, it's Both Trevor McDonald. <laughs> obviously, the, the Conjuring Five. Trevor McDonald made me do it. <laughs> I'd definitely watch that. Yeah, absolutely. So would I. So would I. <laughs> they talk about us, and they. I don't really know who they are, mm -hmm. but they talk about this golden age of horror that we're in at the moment because we're making all these horror films that are. I think because there's so many of them, mm -hmm. when one's good, then then that that's that's what we're in for. Now, yeah. I didn't really enjoy The Witch uh, because nothing happens, and I'm not <laughs> scared of goats. Well, that does sound like a bad combination then for a horror movie. Yeah, yeah, no, nothing, nothing happens. I'm not scared of goats. I'm not into any of these ones that that are made by the same guy. The Hereditary movie, mm -hmm. yeah, it was okay, and I kind of see it. It's about a mum losing a daughter and then trying to trying to kind of deal with that. I, I kind of understand that. But Midsummer, have you seen? Have you seen Midsummer? No, I so, I had meant to, but this is another said. point. I was going to say trailers have kind of destroyed horror movies for me as of late. On that subject, I'm I'm a weird character. I don't watch trailers. I don't tend to watch. If it's a movie mm -hmm. I want to watch, I won't watch the trailer because exactly. Because I have that me. problem. I there are some evenings where you just want a horror movie, maybe to throw back to the old days. But especially on streaming services like Netflix, if you go on it and say, "Oh, I wonder if this is any good," it plays a trailer and say, "Well, mm -hmm. that looks like gash." And Netflix is really guilty of putting up a spoiler picture when you click mm. into it to read the, the information about it. Oh, here's a picture from five minutes before the end of the movie. Like oh, Netflix are the sort of people that would have Kevin Spacey given the double thumbs up on seven. <laughs> Netflix are the type of people that would probably have that all the money in the world movie, the Kevin Spacey version, <laughs> before they can airdrop uh, your man in uh, Christopher Plummer into it. Yeah. <laughs> the Midsummer movie, I'm told is scary, but the Wicker Man is scary. I'm going to put that out there. The Wicker Man leaves you ill at ease mm -hmm. until Christopher Lee turns up in a dress. Then it's just weird. <laughs> Midsummer for me was just twenty year old, tw twenty something girl. The Wicker Man. It, it 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 had almost all of the same beats, all of the same kind of ideas. Yeah. Not knowing what's going on, this little community, and then at the end, there's Wicker Man stuff. And 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 that that's uh, you know, have I ruined it for you? Perhaps. But I don't think I have. I've but saved you time to watch something it's, else. It's 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 that, and and it did nothing for me. And I'm not saying that there's not great acting in it. I'm not saying there's, mm -hmm. there's you know there isn't. But it, but as you said, the horror movies do seem to be guilty of a certain copycat behavior. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of the time after Hostel came out. Oh God, yeah. Let's make everything about stabbing people in the face. Yeah. And everything you watched after that was just another attempt at making Hostel. They went through a period of remaking the big slashes of the seven, you know, the real video nasty slashes of the seventies. The Hills Have Eyes, yeah. The um, the house at the end of the fucking street, whatever that was called. Um, <laughs> I spit on your grave. I thumb through your magazines. Uh, you know the, that, and and they 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 just they they did all that when what they should be doing is remaking uh, Monkey Shines. The one about the killer helper monkey, <laughs> the George Romero movie. Yes. That's what they should be remaking today. Well, on that element of movies, we'll delve into the past. We'll, we'll mold my character into a story here. After leaving school, we went to the technical college, which is okay. like the stepping stone between school and Dole. <laughs> yeah, and I, we, we had one this, of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we went to this, we used to get £30 a week. I think it was EMA for books and pencils and shit for learning. Mm -hmm. 
what it got spent on was a bottle of blue aftershock, <laughs> 20 Marlboro Reds, I think six cans or whatever was an offer that week, and you'd get left with a few wee pound coins. So three or four pound coins to do whatever you wanted with. And there used to be a chain of stores over here called Carline Music. And when you went into Carline Music, you just looked directly to your right and there would be one pound DVDs. All right. And these one pound DVDs would be your B-movie exploitation films from all over the world. And you used to pick them at random and that was what you were watching this weekend. Nice. So this is how we got introduced to things like the uh, the Toxic Avenger movies. It came in at three movies in one for one pound. <laughs> Cannibal Holocaust, oh. Neil Gunn Massacre, Sallow, Brain Dead. Uh, oh, I Spit in Your Graves on my list. Oh, nice. Sleepaway Camp, the Leprechaun movies, uh, the Troll movies, Alienator, Driller Killer. I put on notes. Oh, yeah. Because um, we were watching Driller Killer at a house party and it got up to a scene where somebody was getting their shin bone drilled, as you might expect. And it was like, I've seen this before. And uh, it turns out my parents had awful taste in babysitters. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any of these lower quality, we'll say, movies? Yeah, I seem to remember having seen... I had cousins. So my 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 parents split when I was four or five. Oh, my sorry mom, to hear. Well, well, no, it was the best thing for uh, <laughs> it's the best best thing for my dad. I can assure you. Uh, I just wished I'd managed to get away from my mum at that age. <laughs> that would have made life a lot easier. Uh, hello, mum. Uh, <laughs> Big sure, listener. I'm sure you're listening. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, my mum would my mum would would work kind of two or three nights a week. Mm-hmm. And I would go and stay at my uh, my aunt and uncle's. They weren't my aunt and uncle, of course they weren't. They were friends of the uh, fr- friends of my parents, and they had three teenage sons and a teenage daughter. I would have been maybe five or six, and they would just put on whatever <laughs> they wanted, and I would just sit and watch it. So I've. I've seen some pretty nasty stuff, but yeah, I was going to say that must have been a education of movies for you. Yeah, absolutely. But specifically, the the stuff that kind of sits with me the most is is the high quality stuff. Mm-hmm. So the the thing has always always sat with me. Uh, the original, the thing. Yeah. Um, the uh, I specifically remember the sections from American Werewolf in London as mm. being horrible and they and they are and that stuff still looks good and anything tom savini does still now looks fantastic you know firing an arrow through a plastic head and they're so iconic too you really carry that around with you as well yeah absolutely and those are the things that i wanted to do when i did media studies at college but what i didn't realize was you cannot make a melon look like that and actually in <laughs> in, in the east midlands in the 90s melons were really expensive <laughs> not like not like now we had one take at this <laughs> yeah exactly uh but but those those are specifically the the ones that I, that, that i remember and when you when you go back to look at them now mm-hmm. they st- they still look good you know unlike shonky cgi on yeah. everything i know this gets thrown up a lot about cgi but we were even talking about this earlier the other half got caught watching grave encounters with me just to get me in the mood for this recording mm-hmm. i still remember i think it was the evil dead they were trying to close a hatch door in the cabin yeah and somebody gets stabbed in the ankle yeah oh yeah with, with a with, is it a pen or something i think it's a pen yeah. it's been a while since i it's that apple being split noise as it has. It's just, yeah. I've seen people CGI being eviscerated, cut in half, and yeah, nothing. That scene with an ankle. Oh, ooh, no thanks. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I seem to remember seeing a fair bit of Dario Argento as well, which mm-hmm. why teenage kids were even watching that stuff <laughs> at the time, I, I don't know. But stuff like that was... Again, I don't remember any of that. And I've seen them all now. I don't mm-hmm. remember any of the particular bits of it, but I, I, I just remember all the, the nasty set pieces. Um, anything Italian, really, wasn't it? You know, any in, 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 in the 70s and, and into the 80s, anything that had fallen through the, the, the gaps. If you've seen Lucio Fulci's name on the box, it was it, yep, <laughs> give it. 
<laughs> Straight on that. Absolutely, absolutely. Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue is one of my favourite movies of all time <laughs> because I don't know if you've seen it. It's I it's, know. it's Italian, mm-hmm. but it's it's all filmed in it's all filmed in Britain. Uh, with mostly British actors, but every now and again, there's a guy whose voice doesn't match his face. <laughs> yeah, that old trick. And I absolutely recommend that you that you find that that because that goes a little bit kind of hammer horrory at the end. So that's <laughs> so spaghetti western charm, but pot and yes, horror. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And and that I watch that probably once a year, and I always go, ah. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is really sweet. Oh, this is oh, this is really sweet. But it it isn't. It's it's horrible. It's it's you know it's it's horrible. But it you, it reminds me. Yeah, you can't help what tickles your nostalgia bone. No, ab- it, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It is my it is my nostalgic kind of yeah my 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 nostalgic kind of love for it. But yeah, there was there was there's loads of stuff like that, and and all they all they really did when they re-released them in the 90s was cut like two seconds from this and, and mm-hmm. you know they cut a, a reaction shot <laughs> a lot of the time <laughs> like what the fuck is the bbfc playing at like it's a reaction shot just let that stay <laughs> yeah of all the things you're going to take out yeah it's absolutely fine to see uh you know to, to see a baby eat someone's face uh but you don't want to see the mum crying afterwards <laughs> no that would upset people yeah strange fuckers at the bbfc always have yeah. been I always wanted a job there. Yeah, so did I. So did I. But uh, I, 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 I couldn't pull off the kind of the tweed jacket with the leather uh, elbow patches. <laughs> I'd only end up ruining two perfectly good jackets for that. So, <laughs> as an aside, do you remember when PG films were scary? I do. Gremlins was a PG. Hard to believe. I think Poltergeist was a PG, or was that not the first PG thirteen, as the Americans call it? I think it's twelve I, now, isn't it? The first one that I remember, I think it, it was listed as a PG. It was one. It wasn't the original Jurassic Park. It might have been one of the follow up ones. Oh, but the... it was like a PG twelve. So everybody got warned at the tickets. The kids can go on ahead, but they might get scared. Okay. Yeah, I, the original. Yeah, the original Jurassic Park was a PG, and it mm-hmm. did. It had a thing. It had like a little tagline to it. I wasn't sure if that was I the original or follow No, you're but, absolutely yeah. right. Jesus, that's wow. That has jogged something that I'm going to be googling <laughs> all night now for other films that that had yes, that. Yeah, I live to set people down rabbit holes. Oh man, you yeah you, yeah. I'm just going to make a note of that so I remember when we're off the air to play about with that. <laughs> but yeah, there was this. There was this. This kind of like a little boxed off bit of text mm-hmm. at the bottom um, that said warning may, may be scary for younger children or may, may be scary for people that are likely to shit themselves or something. Like that. <laughs> I can't remember. But wow. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> it does feel be- like that kind of thing when you look at a pack of mixed nuts and raisins and it warns you that it may contain nuts. And Why fruit. don't they warn you it may contain raisins? Because they're the, shit. They are quite shit. They are they're, 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 that that's not a treat. Imagine no. imagine go I don't know, imagine going trick or treating or whatever and goes, Here you go, son, have some have some raisins. No, you old yeah. prick, you have them. <laughs> don't knock on my door on Halloween. <laughs> bag of raisins and spat in the face. Off you go. <laughs> b- b- bag of raisins with a few uh, a, f- a few thumbtacks in it. Yeah, that's, that's that's great. That's fantastic. It normally only works if you put more raisins than thumbtacks in. Uh, it depends how greedy the kids are, really. Uh, true. If you only get fat kids around you, around your house, you'll be all right. It is amazing. The only time you quote Jimmy Oliver is Halloween, because I don't want to buy sweets for other people. <laughs> I I quote him all the time by going, oh, blah, 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 Pucker. Prick. <laughs> it's bad when somebody not even English knows it's a put-on accent. Yeah, well, yeah, on, on our podcast, I, I'm, I'm famous for... Um, doing really bad english accents uh, <laughs> and I'm, I'm five generations of english so you know i don't really have an excuse uh but yeah every everybody's kind of wow god blimey marie poppins at the apples and pears <laughs> is that french y- yeah yeah it's uh yeah via uh, uh via the isle of wight <laughs> via melbourne <laughs> yeah exactly right. right well i save this one a bit later because i think it'll wrap up quickly um for what the fuck do you want what would you like to see get made? I want some high quality physical horror. I want to see if I if I've got to see stuff being splattered, mm-hmm. I want to see it 
to be an actual model. It's got to be a model or fuck it. It's got to be a person. I'm pretty sure Bill <laughs> Hicks says something about using old people uh, in, in stunts. Well, you know, you know? Do, we, do we really need Jimmy Oliver? Oh, man. Yeah, and, and let's be honest – what what you couldn't use that fat fucking tongue for in in horror films? You know that could be oh, that could be. I want to see him arm. get deep fat frayed. Oh man, yeah, I'd like to turkey twizzler that prick. <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing. But yeah, look, even if, even if we don't have the budget for that, stop showing me things. Hitchcock mm-hmm. said all of the all the scariest thing is not seeing. I'm paraphrasing, it wasn't exactly what he said. But the scariest thing is what we don't see. And he's no, absolutely definitely. right. Psycho's fucking horrifying. Still Even to this day. From the literature sense, we had Jekyll and Hyde, and Hyde's crimes are never explained to us. Yep. We see the reaction, we see the aftermath, we see people dealing with what's happened. Mm-hmm. But what's happened is not explained. It's left to your imagination, and I think that's what fucking scares you. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. You you just hear the reports, or you 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 see a quick a quick shot of the destroyed room, or the mm-hmm. you know you might see a foot, uh, or you might see a, a a slip. God, it's the fifties all of a sudden here. You know, you might <laughs> see a woman slip, but that that's what you see. You you don't. It simmers and it simmers and it simmers. It builds up that dread. Yeah, and God, mm. I'm I'm getting I'm. I'm I'm, I'm getting the feel that I need to go and watch Marnie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you have work in the morning, uh, something to cheer you up after this. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, where will the lovely people find you? Oh Well, we'll be hanging around making podcasts on uh, films probably lesser than what we're talking about. Um, <laughs> we, uh, You'll get us wherever you find podcasts at 100 Things We Learn From Film. Uh, specifically, we are on Twitter the most. We're on Instagram mm-hmm. and Facebook, but it's not very easy to manage all that when you're busy chatting shit with other podcasts on uh, <laughs> on, on Twitter. So you'll find us there at 100. I like to send messages. Uh, no, no, that's cool. Look, no, I, look hey, at my no, cat. Me too. I'm, I'm <laughs> all for that. No, don't get me wrong. Uh, yeah, so we're at 100 Things Pod. So the number 100, 100 Things Pod. Um, if you want to use the kind of level that we've talked about here uh we talked about the remake of dawn of the dead the zack mm-hmm. schneider one which i seem to remember really liking and when we watched it again i didn't hate it uh we talked about sinister which i thought was part of the conjuring <laughs> universe but isn't and probably the the best horror film we've looked at that isn't really a horror film uh is tucker and dale versus evil which is a reversal on the slasher type film and it's got alan tudgik in so is oh, it's bonus great points fun. great great fun uh, he, is there anything he can't do get firefly to come back <laughs> well yeah i was i was gonna say uh starring the reboot of firefly as his character oh <laughs> they could clone him <laughs> well they could yeah it's it's a chinese future fuck i would watch that just a spaceship with seven of him on it that would be awesome all having little dinosaur model fights yeah yes. I mean, yeah i mean what, what, wash a fly? Ooh, yeah, I mean. Personal episode of what the fuck I want. Mm. <laughs> you should talk to yourself about that. <laughs> if only the technology existed to film myself. <laughs> well, thanks very much for that. And as always, get fucked. So come on over tonight. We'll get scared out of our minds. Who wants to watch a little Blair Witch? Watch it with a little scared bitch. Who looks a lot like me? So who wants to watch a little Blair Witch? Watch it with a little scared bitch Who looks a lot like me? Blair Witch Boy! Is it too late to sleep with dead and mom? I've been this scared since I saw Rotten.com